He's on fire. Fantastic performance. Oh, what a leap. Takes a superb catch. What a win. That's done. The whole team running over to celebrate. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Coyote. This is Cricket 19 T10 Diversity League. And today we have fixture number 16, which is West Indies versus England. So let's uh, get straight into it. But before we get into it, I'm going to need you to do me a favor. I'm going to need you to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Just spank it. Go on. Yeah, that right button. You got it. That's the one. Anyways, also hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I upload. And if you can, and only if you can, hit that join button right next to the subscribe button to become a channel member. Remember, when you become a channel member, you get automatic entry into the next league I'm doing, whenever it is I'm doing it, you know, like this. Uh, if you do not see the join button, there's a link in the description. You can use that link to become a member as well. Now let's get straight into game number 16 in the T10 Diversity League. All right, here we go. Darren Sammy Cricket Ground, West Indies versus England. Fixture number 16. And uh, it's going to be a good one. It's a home game for West Indies, away one for England. England has not had it the greatest of time in this league. Um... They're struggling, but um, let's hope here they can make a great comeback. West Indies have got a really good side. That's the thing. I don't know if West Indies is the team that they'll be able to make a comeback against. They have got a very strong side, but there's a coin toss. It's heads. So England have won the toss. All right, Owen Morgan will choose to um, have a bowl fest. All right, so he's going to bowl fest here in St. Lucia. And uh, he's given the big man Gale and also Alex Hales, his teammate from England, uh, a chance to open the batting here, bat first. And uh, those two are the key, really. I mean, if those two get going, I mean, we know how dangerous they can be. But Mitch Stark to open the bowling for England. will be bowling to Chris Gale first up. Here we go. First delivery. It's a lovely cover drive, but... Back foot punch, that is more like. But it's a dot. No runs. So uh, good news, I guess, for England. It starts off with a dot. It's dark. Oh, it's a good shot. Straight to the fielder, though. And they'll only pick up one run there. But Gale... <laughs> yeah, he wants to swing, and he wants to swing hard. Unfortunately, he couldn't find the rope on that occasion. But the intention is clear. Always he nicks it. And that's gone for four. All right, so that's seven runs off the over. They'll take that. It was going to be a very good over. And to be honest, it still is with seven given. In a T10, that's a pretty decent, pretty economical over. Seam Shah steaming in. Oh, Gale goes after him. There's a fielder coming under it. And he does well. He does really well. That's the end of the Gale Storm. The universe, boss. That's a huge wicket. It's a huge wicket in any format, let alone a format such as T10. And Nassim Shah, the youngster, gets the better of the veteran. I think Gale might be the oldest player to still be playing. Not entirely sure on that one, but I think he might be. But he's gone for two. Five deliveries, Nassim Shah, obviously. I don't know if he's the youngest player playing, but he is the youngest to get a hat-trick in test, that's for sure. But here we go. So yeah, Kumar Yadav is the next batsman to come in. And uh, Hales is on strike as the batsman cross. Nassim Shah steaming into Hales. Now Hales is in a pretty decent form as he plays that one on the offside. That's gone to the boundary for four runs. Lovely bit of stuff there. Nassim Shah not very happy with himself. He gives him a bit of room. Hales goes over cover. That's gone for four. All right, he's looking in fine neck now. Pretty decent shot. Brathwaite. Balls a fuller one. That's a lovely shot into the cow corner. That's gone for four as well. 19, he moves on to with eight deliveries. It's looking all right. Something about him. I think he's going to go off today. I think he's going to do something special like ABD in the first game. It's a good shot on the leg side. There's a field out, but I think he's played it fine. That's gone. Yeah, that's gone for four. So the, uh, with his first boundary of the day. So the, uh, again. Oh, another lovely shot into the same area we'll get four more all right he's looking very good as well west indies looking pretty dangerous see this is what i meant england needs a win desperately but i don't think west indies is the team they're gonna get it against 
You've got Surya looking very good. You've got Alex Hales at the other end, who I think is going to do something special. I think he's going to get a 50 today. I don't know what it is about him, but it's just the way he's batting. Looks like he's he wants to do some damage. Mohamed Nabi. That's a good shot from uh, Ilze. That's gone. Four runs. There's a fielder on the rope, but he's hit it too fine. I know I said he's going to do something like ABD. Well, he does something very similar to ABD. That shot is very ABD-esque. But, I mean, I don't think he's going to score that many runs because I think uh, De Villiers, he scored like 88 or something in the first game. But he's going to get 50 is what I meant to say. I obviously exaggerated a bit. I mean, maybe he'll get 80. Who knows? But I don't think he'll do that much damage. Although, he is looking very good. 28 of 13. Let's see, here he goes. All right, there we go. You know what? The way he's batting, 80 might be just a piece of cake. Brathwood coming around the wicket, lovely pull. That's gone for four, so 39 of 18. Well, he's definitely in a special sort of form, but uh, only time will tell how special that form is. Brathwaite goes short again. He's hooked that one away as well. That's gone for four. Yeah, there you go. 43s into a radio, only of 19 deliveries. It's gone short again. Oh, similar. It's just been three back-to-back -back replays, pretty much. But you can tell, he, he just wants to heave everything away. I guess he's a bit upset with Luke, the coach of England, who didn't pick him. He had the chance to pick Alex Hales. I guess he wants to show that he made a mistake. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but he's looking good today. Now be coming around the wicket to Surya, and he's got him! Oh, he's got him! He's got his off stump, that's a beautiful delivery. Climbed up on him a bit, there was a bit of extra bounce in that one, that's what beaten him. And Surya Kumara is gone for uh, 10 runs of 11. Uh, not very quick innings, needs to uh, improve his strike rate, but uh, he's got nothing to worry about today, because Halesy is in quite a mood, so... The run rate or the strike rate is the last thing anyone needs to worry about today. That's a good shot. It's gone. Four. I thought the fielder might be able to cut it off, but Raja Paksa has hit it too well. Charlie Jack coming around the wicket to Halesy, and he smashed it straight down the ground. All right. There's a fielder coming it under it. <coughs> Excuse me, that's... Oh, that's nearly gone for six. But that's his half century right there. Told you he was going to do something special today. <laughs> He's gotten 50 in just 24 deliveries. It's gone a bit short. It's a good shot into the uh, deep mid wicket, also known as a corner for four runs. Hales is not done yet. It's a good shot. It's a very good shot from Hales. It's gone four. He's just scooped it over the inner circle. Lovely bit of batting. Star comes around the wicket, goes short and wide. He slashed onto that one, gets a bit of a top edge. But Stark is so quick, it's flashed off to the boundary for four. Hales attacks that one with a front foot, but gets an inside edge, gets lucky, and gone for four. Hales, I mean, sorry, not Hales. Stark is. Stark cannot believe his luck. The previous one was a bit of a, you know, a nick as well, although. I think that's what Hales wanted to do. He wanted to go over that gully in point, but yeah, it's working out for him. Everything's going his way. It's his day today, 72. Remember how I said he might not be able to get to 80? Well, he's only eight runs away. Well, make that seven. Jadeja, balls on his leg. He smashed it straight over mid on. There's a failure on the rope, but there's nothing he can do there. That's 77, he moves on to three more runs and he will truly do something as special as ABD did in the first game. Jadeja, gives him a bit of room, nobody there, that's gone. That's easy pickings. Over cover he goes. And into 80s, 81 he's on at the moment. I am gonna have to see how much uh, ABD looked because it's a race for the top scorer now, in one innings that is. The scores are level by the way, ABD scored 81 as well and he's gone. Hales is gone for 81 of 39 deliveries, what a great innings though. 
He just about ties it. I think ABD still ahead because ABD was not out at the end and also he was chasing, so he gave his team the victory. Also, I think it took him 33 deliveries to get that run. So he got 81 not out in 33. Hale has got 81 out in 39. Ben Dunk, Mr. Bubblegum, comes out to the middle now. And Jadija gets the big man. It's a little late, but you know, it'll do. Okay. <laughs> there she goes. One delivery left in the innings, and it's been dispatched into the crowd and out of the stadium for a hot dog. Should be very happy with the total they've got. Obviously got it with the help of uh, Halesy. I don't know what it was today, I just could tell. I mean, obviously I got one wrong. I said that Gale was going to do something special too. He didn't. He got out two scoring two runs. So, yeah, it's not like I'm getting everything I say right. But I don't know what it was. I, I just could tell the way he was batting. He was going to do something special and he did. But here we go, Josh Butler. And Timba Bavuma comes out to bat now. Tim Saudi, the Kiwi, will be opening the bowling for West Indies. Got a lot of runs on the board, and um, let's see how they'll cope with this. Tim Southey to Butler, first up, and it's just a dot. It's gone full, that's a very good shot, straight on. And that's going to be four, don't worry about that one, that's gone. Shut up, gives him a bit of room, and Butler will take the easy pickings. He's like, you know what, thank you, shut up. He's normally very good though, that's the thing. Shut up, Han. Um, he misses line, though. Here. It can't be perfect always. Yep. Oh, he's nicked it. Inside edge. That's gone for four. Butler getting lucky. Boy, does England need that luck. <laughs> yep. Oh, close one. It's definitely not out because he's hit it with a bat. Um, umpire says not out. He agrees with me. And they're not going to go for the... Preferably either. On his legs, that's a good shot, but a good shot straight into the hands of the fielder. And that's the end of Butler. He's gone for 18 of 15, Jossie Butt, but he's given his team a pretty decent start, though, that's for sure. And like I said, Chalapani has been so good throughout this tournament. He continues on to being very good here as well as he gets a very important wicket in the very talented. Just Butler has gone for 18. And, um, yeah, the game hangs in the balance. I don't know which way it's going to go. They've had a decent start, but they haven't had a, a start that will sort of make you think they've got this. Do you know what I mean? It's still, it can still go either way. I'm not entirely sure which way. They've done really well in starving them for uh, boundaries. Oh, he's nicked that one. He's gone lucky. I think that's going to be the first boundary in a very long time for England. Yes, it's going to go all the way very slowly, but uh, <laughs> slow and steady wins the race, I guess. The game has shifted in the favor of West Indies quite a lot. Now, if they can manage to get a couple more uh, boundaries like that, England that is, then uh, they'll be able to shift it back onto their side because the game is still not out of their reach. Yep. It's a good shot on the offside. All right, there we go, Bavuma, a bit more of that. A bit more of that, and you're back into the game. You need miss ball, Huck here. Oh, he's gone. That's the end of Bavuma. Imran yeah. here with the wrong and gets him out. Oh, yeah, they need... Uh, <laughs> It's a very beautiful delivery. I love it, these leggies when they bowl the wrong one. It's so easy to get deceived by it. And it looks really good too when it works out, such as in this case. But who remembers the final of the World Cup in 2007 T20? When Pakistan needed like 50 odd runs in 18 deliveries or something and missed by just one after him. Obviously ended up losing the game, but brought it very close. Something similar is required here for England. Obviously, they would like to finish it off in the end. 50 of 8. All right, the game is well and truly out of the reach. Morgs have just come out to bat, and he's uh, smashed the boundary of the second delivery only. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's that for England today. On Morgan, though, he's not going to give up. Yeah, he's not going to give up. He's gonna fight till the end, even if it's for a losing cause. But to be honest, though, 
like I keep saying in these games, even if you lose, you still should go after the ball because it's a league format and net run rate matters quite a lot. So uh, as many runs as they can get here, it'll only benefit them in the long run. That's a good shot through extra cover. Done, four runs, 38 required of five now. It's a very good shot on the leg side. It's gonna go to the boundary for four, Seifert. Now he goes after it. I mean, it's taken him about, what, 12, 13 deliveries to get going? Come on, son, this is a T10. Yep. It's a good shot into extra cover. Will that go to the boundary, though? Oh, yes, it will. 24 of 17 for Seifert. And uh, I'm afraid it's too little, but not too late. It's too little, way too late. And there's the final delivery, and it's a dot. All right, so that's another win for West Indies, and yet another loss for England. It's time for Luke to uh, shake this team up a bit. Some special is required. Look at that, some special like Alex Hales today. 81 of 39 gives this team a comfortable win in the end. And uh, pretty good uh, performance from West Indies. The English bowlers were pretty good, or they weren't that bad, but the batting is where they're struggling. And uh, Luke, you're gonna have to regroup and uh, come up with a better plan, because whatever you're doing right now is clearly not working. Right, here are the highest wicket takers so far in the league, and uh, here are the highest run scorers so far in the league as well. And uh, yeah, Alex Hale is up there with, uh, yeah, look at that. Higher score, both 81. So uh, up there with De Villiers. But South Africa at the top, having lost no games. Sri Lanka have lost no games either. Australia right behind them. West Indies is getting up there, but remember they have played more games than the rest. And England, four games, four losses. I feel for you, mate. I've got a few England fans on this channel. <laughs> And they're not going to be happy today, but it is what it is, part of the game. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do drop a like, do subscribe, hit that notification bell. Also, if you can, hit that join button right next to the subscribe button to become a channel member. Remember, when you become a member, you get an automatic entry into the next league I'm doing. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...